exploring the world of the father. When the ancestors took the boy out of his home and took him up to the mountain and whooped his butt and broke him down, they only did it because they needed to do one thing with that clean slate. They clean the slate, clean the slate, break the ego, which is good. I know a lot of you guys crave that. We're going to keep, we're going to talk more about that in a moment, but I got to give you the big picture. That's when myth, story, religion was introduced. We don't have a collective story. We don't have a collective myth, or except for whatever Disney gives us, mind you. It's all commercial, right? It's all uh, fascist. And so even, e even if there is an atonement, it's with, it's with a false father. It's a false faith. It's those four things I talked about before, right? Wealth, power, pleasure, and honor. What happened prior to the destruction of Christendom in the West? which was the point of cultural Marxism. Men oriented themselves, oriented their lives towards vocation. And the primary vocation for most men was family. Another vocation was to be a man that was a ritual elder or spiritual leader, i.e. the clergy. Or a man would be called to service in some way, maybe military service, maybe as a helper to somebody with some grand vision that he got behind, a builder of sorts. But it was, it was, he didn't have all this confusion that we have in our day right now where men don't know what our path is. That's the number one question I get from most men today. I don't know what to do, Elliot. I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what my place is. I don't know what my mission is in this world. Today, it's crazy. You know what the craziest thing that happened to us is the idea that we could be anything. You could do whatever you want. That creates chaos. And that's why so many men are lost. When you tell people you could do whatever you want, you know what they do? They start looking at other people and what they're doing because we, as men, we need an example. So we start looking at other people and we say, well, I guess that's what I'm supposed to do with absolutely no discernment for your own vocation or path in life or your own inclinations as a man because you don't even know your father. There's something about who you're supposed to be and what your inclinations are and what your gifts are if you know your father. I know that's hard to hear and I'm gonna get kicked back because most of y'all hate your father. I'm not saying that it's not justified because he didn't receive initiation and his father didn't receive initiation. Maybe before that, his father received initiation. So we're, we're, we're at least three generations into lost boys being led by other lost boys. So let's, let's, let's back up here for a moment. You're a successful man who's chased wealth, power, pleasure, and honor, and has achieved that, but yet there's an emptiness inside. There's a hole inside. There's something that's not fulfilled, and so what? You get drunk, you get high, you waste your life. I implore you that if you just break this away by itself and don't fill it with pattern, with meaning, with transcendent meaning, prayer, and ascension, dedication, in devotion to the Lord, you're going to fall short. You're going to fall short again and again and again. No worldly created thing can fill the place of the creator. No created thing can fulfill the place of the creator. And our ancestors understood that. We're living in a time where the atheism is a brain cramp because how, how arrogant could we possibly be to think that from all time and place on earth, people worshiped some God but you so smart that you don't need one. That's why we're killing ourselves. When a society doesn't have a collective value, when we don't have collective virtue, when we don't have a collective story that transcends wealth, power, pleasure, and honor, we find ourselves in a place that we are right now. And so many people feel lonely. That's a part of the reason why we end up plugging it up with dark vice. So what do we do? Where do we go? Where is the answer? If you're a high achieving businessman, executive, or entrepreneur who's dominating in business but struggle with drinking, drugs, overeating, or any filthy vice, here's some advice. The biggest mistake that you could make is to try to quit cold turkey 
and use willpower to overcome your cravings. If you've ever quit for a few days or a few weeks only to self-sabotage by binging worse than before, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Not only has my company helped thousands of men destroy vice and dominate life, I personally confronted and overcome the same struggles when I found myself hooked on weed at the peak of my business career. If you've got four minutes to listen to a coach who will help you achieve total self-mastery and control over your inner punk, then listen up. If you don't beat drinking, drugs, or any life-draining dependency in 90 days or less, not only will my company give you your money back, we'll pay for your first month's stay at a rehab retreat of your choice. That's what you need to succeed. So let's go, bro. Just visit waronvice.com, fill out an application, and my team will get back to you with the details. Hope to see you on the inside. Done.